Got into the music, almost forgot uh, to to go back like on. A show going on here. Yeah, that, that was really enjoyable. But let's get somebody. Come on, you know the man on the street or woman. Let's get somebody calling up from uh, Macy's, you know, or the mall. It doesn't matter where you are. Come on. Yeah, as long as well, they. Yeah. You don't hear that? I didn't hear anything. You're scratching that. You can hear it. I thought you were passing gas. I was, but you were obstructing my sounds with your... Uh, oh, well, excuse your, me. Your so sorry. But ladies and gentlemen, come on, let's... I mean, you walk through any mall in America, and all you hear right now are Christmas songs. Which is fine with me. In fact, it raises a question. How do you feel about people wishing you a happy holiday instead of... You know, Merry Christmas. I mean, this is the Christmas season. I mean, I'm Jewish, and I don't mind being having somebody wish me Merry Christmas. I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. You know, um, it's funny how, you know, the one thing that would get me is those people who know I'm Jewish, how, how could you not know, living in a, a city like New York, cosmopolitan city, that Christmas or Hanukkah generally coincides with Christmas and Jewish people light the menorah and celebrate Hanukkah. So what's so terrible about wishing a Jewish person happy Hanukkah, you know, if you know that most, if not all, of your Jewish friends are going to wish you a Merry Christmas? Well, first thing is, I think we've gone through this before, Except for probably in New York, Los Angeles, and Florida. Well, I said, you're living in a cosmopolitan city. I'm not talking about Dubuque, Montana, okay, or a small burb upstate New York where, you know, they got to travel 100 miles to find a, a, a synagogue, you know, to go pray. You know. Stop that. Why? Because I can hear it. If That's I can hear too bad. It, how about addressing my question? But how about not doing that? It's very annoying. You're, you're uh, ruining my reception here. I have to put the... I'm going to have to put this down just so I don't have to hear you. You don't listen to me anyway. Of course I do. Well, how about answering my question? What was your question? See what I mean? Well, we were talking so long. We're after. talking about wishing people happy holiday, which is fine. But well, many, some people are annoyed because you wish them a happy holiday. You don't wish them a merry Christmas. Okay, I said, you know. I I don't know. I've never heard anybody get annoyed if you wish them a happy holiday. Well, Fox News, the war against Christmas. That's all they talk about. I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking all about. All of your buddies down on uh, Fox News. It's a, it's, a, it's a war on Christmas. Ask uh, Papa Bear himself. I don't know what you're talking about, I'll be honest with you. They say that people wish other people happy holiday as opposed to Merry Christmas. That there is a war in this country on Christmas. People are trying to do away with the term Christmas because now you have, like you say, you have Kwanzaa, you have Hanukkah, okay, you have the Christmas holidays. 
So it's easier just to wish people happy holiday. I, I never heard that, but, but that's those, again, those that's he, only... Those your buddies on Fox News. I, I listen to them every day. I never heard that. Sarah Palin. War She's, on Christmas. Sarah Palin's not on Fox News. No, Well, she is occasionally. But she doesn't work there. She's just occasional pain in the neck. You'd like to get paid what she gets paid just for an occasional appearance on Fox News. Do you know they don't get paid for, for these shows when they appear on news shows? Or when I, I, I couldn't say one way or the other. Or when they go on uh, Jay Leno, they don't get paid a penny. Sure they do. Why not? They don't. They, they, that's no, they can designate it to a charity, but they do they have do not to get, get paid. What happens is if you see, the reason they go on is to promote something that they're doing. They don't, those shows do not pay for their guests. They, they're always... Johnny Carson, when he was in charge of the Tonight Show, I mean, all these people got paid. What makes these you think comics, that? The comics that would come on, you know? Not at all. They, they got free promotions. What makes you think they got paid? I don't know. Because I think they all got paid. If anybody knows that there, why don't you call us up? Here, Felix is going to go Google it. Maybe you have the answer. <laughs> Maybe you have the answer already. Hey, look at that. There's a big question right here. I didn't even have to type it up. It was there. Do guests get paid Do on the Tonight Show? Well, let's see what they say. Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show. Guests not allowed to guess anywhere else. Well, no, that, that I remember when he took over. <clears throat> when he took over for uh, Jay Leno, he said that Anybody appearing on his show is not allowed to appear on David Letterman or Conan O'Brien or any of those other nighttime shows. That's crazy. Well, that's that's what he wants. But is there an answer to our question is what I'm, I'd like to know. I'm, what I'm, I'm looking right now. Not really. Most of them are there to promote something. However, I must say that the rebellious rev only appears as long as there's money involved. It's usually in the con contract with whatever studio they're filming with at the time to do the promotional appearances. You mean if I was to appear on uh, Jimmy Fallon and talk about the rebellious rev in the dock, I wouldn't get any money? Actually, you'd get paid exactly the same as you, when you get paid on our show. That much? That much. Wow, well, I can't complain about that now. I must say, that's very generous. Yeah. Now, they say that the, the the big late night shows don't have any, uh, don't have much trouble Difficulty, uh, difficulty booking guests. The skit performers get paid, of course, but the actual guests don't. Oh, in other words, if they use an extra person. Well, yeah. I mean, on uh, on uh, what's his face, um, the Colbert Report. He's always talking to Jimmy, his assistant. Yeah, those guys get paid. You know, well, that's also one of his writers. So I mean, yeah, those they guys get, get paid. paid. The uh, the musicians get paid. Well, that's their gig. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. But uh, no, I always wondered the same thing on the radio. They don't pay their guests. And I always wondered why. And then I then now now you know why. And as always, the doc has proven himself to be the one that's correct. Even you're the doc, but I'm never wrong because I have God behind me. God, how, God forgive how, me. How God I, forgive me for how saying can that. I be correct if you just said I was wrong. You just said I was wrong. Huh? 
I said, you're never correct. The doc is correct. The doc. I'm the doc. Oh, the rev is correct. Oh, you see that? I guess I am wrong sometimes, aren't I? You're confusing me. <laughs> you're confusing <laughs> yourself as well. I know. So let's go hear this, uh, really, this song you, you're going to you, like. You have to answer to a higher source. You know? Exactly. I mean, so, if you tell us who you have to answer to, you got to kill us. Exactly. You're uh, what you call it? An esoteric minister. listening to a song, we probably have better skits talking to each other than, than we do on the air, because we then we argue about really stupid things. Yeah, we argue like a husband and wife. And, they, you know, we, we were just, just talking about, we are arguing on the Johnny Carson show, when they had the comedians.